Hi, this is Dennis Bornick at WAPReview.com, and I'm going to show you how to install Firefox Mobile on the Nokia N9. Firefox Mobile isn't, hasn't been officially released for the N9, but a developer on uh, ForumMigo.com named Schmurl has been uh, building, packaging the nightly builds into N9 format, and has made them available. The easiest way to find the N9 download is on my-migo.com in the download section. Just go there and search for a Firefox, and it should be there. There are There is a couple of issues with the download. Uh, for one thing, the link on my Migo is often broken because the build changes. The name of the, it's, it's a new build every night, and the file name changes, and that breaks the link. Uh, so if you, if you uh, have that problem, go to my blog. The URL is in the description field here on YouTube below the video, and I have instructions on how to find it on uh, Forum Migo. Anyway, the other problem is that the, the file's MIME type isn't correct, so when you try to download it with the browser, it tries to display the binary file on the screen as text, and that doesn't look very good or work. So you have to download it to your PC and copy it to a folder on the N9 using a uh, USB cable which I've already done. Now, in order to launch, in order to install it, you need to use a file manager. There isn't any file manager pre-installed, uh, but I've installed File Manager Beta by Shearwater from the Nokia store. It's a free app. I'm gonna launch that now. And I'm gonna go to where I saved uh, the file that I downloaded, which is My Docs Downloads. You can, you can put it anywhere but that's where I put mine. And here it is, Finnick 9-0, uh, Finnick underscore 9.0 dash A1 underscore RML dot DEB. So let's just tap it to install it. And we get an error message. Uh, can't install, installation from uncertified sources is not allowed. Then it tells you to allow this, go to settings, applications, installations. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to settings. Applications, installations, and allow installations from non-store sources. Get a warning that if you do this, you're getting stuff that didn't come from Nokia and it could possibly contain malware that could cause you all kinds of problems. And you say you're going to do it at your own risk, and I agree, and now we can do it. Now we can install. So let's go back to the file manager and tap it again. And this time it says it's an uncertified source. You get the same warning. You say, I agree again. And then you have to say, you have to accept. And away it goes. So it's downloading a, uh, some additional dependencies, and it's now it's installing. Taking its sweet time. Well, the install finally finished. It took about three minutes. Um, I spare, I edited that out of the video to spare you the uh, agony of watching paint dry. So when it finishes, it just returns back to the file manager screen. We can close the file manager and go to the applications home screen, and there's Firefox. We'll just boot it up here. Okay, so Firefox Mobile, if you've ever used it on an N900 or on Android, uh, has this kind of a weird user interface where you scroll to the side, and this one has uh, bookmarks and folders. And over here you have uh, settings, a button for marking the page as a favorite, and forward and back. So let's just see if it'll open up uh, my site here. So you can get a quick look. It's 
So we're going to webreview.com. And it's saying, do you want the desktop site or the mobile site? Let's take the desktop site. Because the N9 is certainly capable of rendering the desktop site. And there you go. And page loading is pretty fast. I don't have the world's best connection here. I think it's probably only doing about uh, 200 K bits per second. Hmm. A little checkerboarding here. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. I thought it had loaded it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oops. Yeah. So this is, uh, scrolling is pretty smooth. It's, this is uh, one of my beefs about uh, Firefox is that checkerboarding that you get when you scroll quickly. It does recover pretty, pretty fast. And uh, it supports both landscape and portrait and pinch to zoom. One thing it doesn't do is if you zoom wider, then the window, it doesn't reflow the text, so you can actually read it without scrolling back and forth, unlike Opera. Opera Mobile has this wonderful feature where it reflows text. But if you double tap, and you can usually read stuff, especially in landscape mode and in portrait mode, text tends to be a little small. I mean, I can just barely read that. Of course, I'm an old man. If you're young, you might have no problem with it. And that's probably not even the worst site. Some sites, uh, the text is even smaller. But we'll open another one here just for the heck of it. Let's open um, ESPN and see how that looks. So again, I can't compare complain about the page loading speed. This uh, the slideshow thing on ESPN, probably because of the slow connection, it uh, it was displaying something. It's probably loading the next image. I don't know. But uh, let's see if we can zoom in here and open a story and see how it looks. Here's one for uh, Rangers fan, Texas Rangers fans, or World Series story here. Whoops. Uh, tiny story link here. ESPN's desktop site isn't very touch friendly. Okay, so this seems to have opened a mobile version of something called, I don't know if this is a third party site or uh, part of ESPN itself. But anyway, there you have it. And here's another example of kind of tiny tiny text, but again, if we put it into uh, landscape mode, and here you've got that darn checkerboarding again. In landscape mode, it might be a little better. Oh, and because this is a mobile site, you can't zoom it. This is something that mobile developers do, where they uh, make the, the, uh, the zoom non-adjustable. I think that's a I think you have to do that because of an iPhone bug, but it, it's kind of annoying. It'd be nice to be able to zoom this so because even though this is, I guess, a mobile site, maybe not. It's got a, a sidebar, a side column with ads in it that it, we don't really need to see, but we can't zoom it. There's also another glitch here is this Dove deodorant bar ad thing keeps popping down. So that's... Uh, probably as much an issue with this site as it is with Firefox Mobile. And just to show you the menuing system, this would let us bookmark it. This opens settings where you can um, turn on sync to sync it with your desktop browser. I'm, I'm not a fan of Firefox's sync mainly because it's so difficult to set up. You have to You have to go to a desktop browser and type in these arcane codes. And when I tried to do that on my Linux box with the latest Firefox for Ubuntu, uh, 
there wasn't anywhere to enter these numbers, which was kind of weird. I had to boot up Windows and uh, open Firefox for Windows, and I was able actually able to do it. But why not just have a password and username like Google uh, Chrome and Opera Mobile do or Opera, all Opera browsers? This whole thing seems like uh, unnecessarily complex. But you can turn on and off JavaScript and images and clear the cache and, and cookies and so forth. And another cool thing is you can add, uh, you can add uh, plugins or add-ons. There's a bunch that come pre-installed, and you can search the catalog for more. Because this is a, uh, a beta build, you can give feedback and uh, send performance data, enable the error console and other developer type things. And if I had downloaded anything, it would show up here. So we'll go back. Over on the other side, uh, this shows you your open windows. This, uh, this World st Series story opened in a new window in the, the original. No, I take that back. The other window is the start page. Okay, so those are the two windows we have open. And then um, this shows you oops, this folder down here. Shows you your bookmarks, all the pages you have open, your history. And if we had synced to the desktop, it would show you what was on the desktop. But we haven't synced yet. So that's kind of a quick overview of Firefox Mobile for the N9. Uh, I have to return this phone to Nokia today, so I don't really have time to go into detail. But if you follow the instructions, you can install it and check it out yourself. That's all for now. This is Dennis Bornick from WAPReview.com.